Beleriand was employed by Aegon the Conqueror to burn and half ruin Harrenhal, which resulted in the extinction of House Hor and the ascension of House Tully as Lord Paramount of the Trident. Upon the climactic battle of the Field of Fire, Beleriand, alongside the dragons of Aegon's sisters, Vagar and Meraxes, participated in the destruction of the largest army ever fielded against them. The outcome of the battle was the extinction of House Gardener and the respective ascensions of House Tyrell and House Lannister as Wardens of the South and the West. Aegon would also deploy Beleriand in burning several castles across Dawn throughout the First Dornish War alongside Visenya and Vagar to avenge the deaths of Rhinus and Meraxes. Following Aegon's coronation as King of the Andals, the Rhoynar, and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, and Protector of the Realm, Beleriand used his fiery breath to melt the swords of his riders' defeated enemies and forge them into the Iron Throne. During the uprising of the Faith Militant, Aegon and Visenya's son, Magor the Cruel, mounted Beleriand and burned down the Sept of Remembrance with hundreds of members of the Faith Militant inside. Following the destruction of the Sept, Magor would replace its ruins with the Dragon Pit to house Beleriand and the other Targaryen dragons. Years before his accession to the throne, Viserys I Targaryen bonded with and rode Beleriand. Viserys would be the last Targaryen to bond with Beleriand, as the dragon died of old age not long after. Following Beleriand's death, Vagar would grow to rival him in size.